Here this evening, as the U.S. accuses China of playing a role in ransomware attacks on American businesses, there is word of a crippling cyber attack on the city of Geneva. Nina Lai explains how local governments are a growing target for hackers. In the heart of Ohio's centuries-old wine country, the city of Geneva, population 6,200, the latest and perhaps unexpected victim of a cyber attack. It just happens to be that the, you know, the hacker saw a vulnerable system and, and went after it. Cybersecurity experts at Trusted Sec in Strongsville say the attack goes to prove that everyone and every organization that uses the Internet are vulnerable. Sometimes it is because they're well known or, or they're known to have a lot of money. But a lot of times hackers don't necessarily even see whose system it is. They just see vulnerable systems as they're out there scanning the Internet. Geneva city leaders say they discovered their online and data systems were breached early Friday, but emergency services were never disrupted. Word of the cyber attack first surfaced on social media, where a new ransomware gang called Avos Locker took credit for the attack, posting that it shared a sample of citizens' social security and credit card numbers as proof and threatened to release more data if the city did not negotiate. That is absolutely, you know, an extremely common MO. In 2019, the city of Cleveland faced a ransomware attack that locked computer systems at Hopkins Airport. It's the FBI's position and policy that we do not recommend that entities pay ransom um, because you're only reinforcing the bad behavior by the actors. Cleveland says it did not respond to the ransom, but did pay $750,000 to repair its system. When it comes to ransomware, the, I hate to say it, but the best thing you can do is to prevent it. Cyber attacks cost U.S. governments an estimated $18 billion in downtime and recovery last year. Far-reaching crimes, even in the farthest corners of Ohio. And Geneva City leaders are still assessing how much, if any, of its citizens' sensitive information was breached. But they're now asking residents to monitor their financial accounts and their credit reports. Also, change the passwords to their personal accounts. Russ? Lena Lai in the newsroom. Thank you.